Subscribe to Get Curried and click on the bell icon for more updates. Well, today I'm showing you possibly one of the most requested recipes. Well, it's not a recipe as such, it's a technique and a skill that most of you must possess. I'm showing you how to cut, debone, and clean a chicken. Let's begin with a whole chicken. Well, this chicken has been washed well under running tap water. I'm using a kitchen towel, a kitchen duster, whatever you think you have, you can make use of that and clean it absolutely dry. Let me quickly run you through the different parts of a chicken. The first and foremost part, like if I quickly pick it like so, on one side, we have the leg, we have the thigh, we have the chicken breast, we have the wing, well this forms the winglet, that's the wing or the shoulder, and that's the neck. Of course the other side remains the same. If I quickly flip it over, this entire thing is known as the spine or the spinal cord of this bird. Let's quickly now get to the cutting part of it. The first and foremost part that you need to cut is actually the leg, that needs to be separated. Now if you lift this very carefully like so, you'll realize that this actually is a little tougher. You need to release this a little and the second part is to hold it like so and pull it in this fashion. With this what happens is, the bone here gets released and this part is known as the oyster. You need to quickly shuck the oyster off like so. It's a round part which looks something like this and this is also one of the softest parts of the bird. Well, once you cut it like so, you need to start pulling it in this fashion and then you need to follow the bone very, very, very closely and give it a cut. Try to run the knife as close to the bone as possible and that's where you get the first cut which is the leg. Now the leg has the drumstick as well as the thigh which is very important for you to know. Similarly on the other side, if you can release this a little and like so, you cut it one clean cut. Simple. The next part that we actually need to pull out is the breast of the chicken. For that, if you very clearly notice, there is a midriff or a bone here. We need to go on either sides of the bone in one single motion or fashion. You need to go around this and with your index finger, run it like so to expose this bone. Well, you can also use your thumb to expose this, as simple as this. Very close to the bone again, you start releasing this. Go round, around this bone and that's where you release the breast of the chicken. Well, that's how you get the breast of the chicken which is boneless. Well, the knife needs to be absolutely sharp and do not attempt this with a blunt knife at all because you may end up rogering the entire bird and you do not want that to happen. Well, as simple as that, you can just pull this entire breast like so and that's where you have the second breast. Well, just a little thing that needs to be done here is if you want to trim this to remove the extra fat, then by all means do that and the breast is done and ready. To the next part, which is actually called the tenderloin or the supreme. Well, this is also one of the softest parts of the bird. Let's remove that with the help of a knife. Again, jiggle as close to the bone as possible. And that's where you get the oyster or the tenderloin. Let's move on to the last part and which is the wing. Let's move on, round around the bone like so. And that's where you have a very clean cut of a wing. If you notice very clearly, there's a bone attachment right here. If you're not comfortable, you can of course go around like this and just jiggle it off. Now if you notice, there's a little bit of a bone here. If you can just turn it around, that's where you go. That's where the bone is. Always ensure that you cut between the two bones and never on the bone because that is also going to release a lot of blood. That's the wing. And finally, this entire thing is the carcass. Well, the carcass is not to be thrown because you generally in kitchens worldwide make a wonderful and beautiful meaty stock out of this. Let me quickly introduce you to another part which generally goes in the stock. Well, that's the part which is actually right here, which connects the entire case together. And this is a wonderful meat. It's very fatty, but it's fabulous. Well, that's a little piece here, that's a little part here, which generally goes either in the garbage or in the stock, but trust me, I love this personally. Well, with that, we come to the end of deboning this chicken. 
primarily, initially. Let's keep the carcass aside and let me get you back to deboning the leg. When it comes to the leg, I'm quickly going to show you two different cuts of a leg. The first one is something that we traditionally use while making a chicken kachetor. The second one is a very classic deboned chicken leg. For that, if you notice very clearly, there are two ends of the bones right here. The first one, which is actually the hip bone, which is attached to the carcass. And the second one is the last bone, which is attached to the feet, which is the leg bone. Now, there are two bones running right in the center. We need to expose this like so just run a knife right on top of the bone very carefully it's a sharp knife you do not want the knife to slip without puncturing the other side of the chicken you need to carefully expose this bone like so you can go around the bone also go as close to the bone as possible because you do not want any wastage around the bone after exposing this bone, the next step is to remove this bone off completely. And for that, I'm running the knife under the exposed bone like so, and bringing all of this together like so. Push this as much as you can. Hold these two. And here you need to give it a cut around the bone to expose this off completely. Well, that's the bone that has come out now. And here you have this beautiful cut which is a boneless leg and thigh. Well, here if you notice very carefully, there's a little cartilage, which is like a soft bone. I personally find this very nice while I cook it. But in case you're making tikkas and kebabs, I would suggest you remove this bone off because that may really be a little off while making kebabs. So that's where you have this beautiful cut, which is boneless leg and thigh. Let's now show you the cut which is classically used for a chicken kachator. Now that is technically called Frenching the chicken or Frenching the bone. All you need to do is keep this leg and thigh, the leg and the drumstick entirely. You hold your knife just one centimeter from the base and you give it a knock. Simple. You snip this off. Here you have this one centimeter which is now knocked off and this is the chicken which is classically used for a kachator and here it goes. Let's move on to the next cut. I'm showing you two cuts actually. The first one is a classic Indian curry cut and the second one is a tandoori cut. Let's move on to the next step and that is splitting this right in the center and for that I'm actually cutting it right on the bone here. Be very careful while doing this because this step could be a little difficult if you're doing it for the first time. Go right across the bone and split this into two. Now, if you notice very clearly, there's a neck that comes in right in the center. You can go on either sides of the neck, depending on where you want to use the neck and again, cut it right in the center. Well, with this, you get two halves of a chicken. The first one or the neck part of it, I'm going to use for a tandoori chicken. It's very simple. All you need to do is keep the bird the way it is but remember to give it a few gashes so that the marination and the masala seep right within. For that, you take the first breast and give it a few gashes like so. Similarly, you take the drumstick and give it two or three gashes and the thigh again gets two or three gashes like so. Nice and clean, one stroke. So that's your tandoori chicken. Let's come into the last cut of chicken and which is a very classic Indian curry cut. For this, of course, you need to clean the board yet again and follow the same technique that we followed in the first step and that is separating the oyster like so. Again, you apply a little bit of a pressure and pull the bone apart and go as close to the bone as possible and separate this. With this, you have the thigh and the drumstick which is now separate. For a classic Indian curry cut, it's also very important to start separating the fat, which is actually this pale yellow thing that you see right here. This needs to be snipped off, which is actually the chicken fat. Now, if you've divided this or separated this before, it's gonna be easier for you. But if you're a beginner and doing this for the first time, let me tell you a quick trick. Now, between the leg, between the drumstick and the thigh, you see this little fat line, which is this pale yellow colored line. That's the point where actually the knife needs to run like so. Now, if you see very carefully, it's a one single stroke that I've used. 
and it is right in between the two joints of the bones. At any given point in time, you do not need to cut into the bone or on the bone because that's unnecessarily going to release a lot of blood into this. So that's the first part of the curry cut, which is your thigh and the drumstick. The next step is to start cutting the chicken breast. Now you can divide it into two parts or three parts depending on how your family prefers it. Well, I prefer them nice and tiny. Again, so the first cut, you go midway and then you give it a knock. Similarly, you get into cutting the breast like so and once you realize that the meaty portion is over and once you start realizing that it's actually hit the bone like so, you can either juggle and cut it like that or you can give it one knock. That's a personal call. Well, last but not the least, we need to divide the chicken wing like so again between the two bones. And that's where you have the classic Indian curry cut. Chicken curry cut, which is done and ready. With this video, I hope I've made your life a little simpler in the kitchen while cleaning and cutting and deboning a chicken. Well, like I said, even in the beginning of the video, I'm also going to show you a very quick way of making a chicken stock. On that note, do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to get curried.